I'll give you a wonderful, wonderful story. As a young lady who came in, this is a couple years ago, going blind, rapidly losing her vision. I'm examining her, we look in her eyes, her, her optic nerves are whited out, and she's very flat, very, very, her affect is flat, very unemotional. I'm showing them her problem, which is she's got a tumor that's about, about this big. It's a big tumor, and she's going blind from it. And the husband asked me to come outside for a second, and I'm talking with the husband, and he says, you know, she hasn't been herself. She used to be fun and happy, and she's just, she's angry. She's hard to get along with. She is forgetful. She's not helping take care of the kids. But I said, well, where this tumor is located, it's gonna cause patients to be very apathetic and what we call abulia. They can't experience enjoyment in anything and they become demented and they get very angry at nothing. He's telling me that everything you're telling me is, that she's doing is because of this tumor. And I said, yes, it is. And he bowed it, he, he just shook his head and he, I don't know, he just felt, it looked like he was feeling miserable. He says, you know, he says, we just completed our divorce last week because I couldn't take it anymore. And you're telling me this is not her, this is a brain tumor. I said, well, it's got a big part of it. We wound up taking her to surgery here within several days of that encounter. Probably, probably a 12, 15 hour operation on her. And we got this lady taken care of. You know, removed this tumor completely. The lady began to see again, we got her vision back. And by, I think, early fall, they had a follow-up appointment and the ex-husband comes back in and says, well, you know, just want you to know that I've moved back in the house and we're gonna be getting married, remarried. And I think by the end of that calendar year, they had already gotten remarried and continued with their family. And that, and I, I, uh, I did, I shed a tear when he told me that. It's still good. I mean, it's just, it's just, that's, uh, that was something when you think of how you really affect somebody. I mean, their whole family, man. That sort of stuff is why I do what I do.